Our first story of the day comes from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the astronaut for hiring a professional cleaner to do my chores for the house? My girlfriend moved to my house six months ago. Despite me paying three quarters of the rent, she is a student. We still agreed that we would split the chores of the house 50-50. Now, my girlfriend doesn't have OCD, but she borderline can have those tendencies sometimes when it comes to cleaning. Everything must be done her way. Like freaking out when I cleaned the kitchen, but there was some dust on top of the fridge. Now, I didn't clean properly, and I'm just doing things the wrong way, so I can get away with without cleaning properly. I do laundry, and I mispaired some socks that looked similar. I'm just trying to be annoying on purpose, or, or so she says. Since she wasn't happy about my cleaning and it was a constant problem, I decided to hire a professional cleaner to come once a week and do all the chores that are assigned to me. Cleaning the bathroom, living room, kitchen, windows, doing laundry, etc. Now, this doesn't mean I don't do any work around the house. I still take out the trash and clean dishes if the cleaner won't come in the next three days. I'll also do some handiwork required occasionally that my girlfriend doesn't know how to do. After continuing with this arrangement for five months, she now says this isn't fair. Because while she is cleaning and using her free time to do her chores, I just sit on my computer playing games. I told her that her chores were her responsibility and that we agreed to split 50-50. I just offloaded my work to another person. She told me that being in a relationship is about helping each other and not being petty about things. I told her that she should have applied that same mindset when I was doing the chores myself and she was complaining all the time. Am I the astronaut? uh, My gut reaction here is that if you agreed to have the work to do the work 50 50 why does it matter if it's him personally doing it or if it's him paying someone to do it he's still covering the 50 percent that he said he was going to cover why would that matter chat thoughts i understand her being upset about it because she can't do the same at least they get done and he's paying money to do it so he's essentially purchased his time to be able to do things that he that he wants to do Magic Drop says she made it an unreachable goal and got upset when he found a way to reach it. Oh, she Kobayashi marooned him and he he Jim Kirked it. He figured out a way to uh, to rewire the test. So why would she be upset about this? Maybe the problem is that he didn't tell her he was going to do this and he just did it. Maybe if he talked to her about it ahead of time and they had a discussion about it, maybe some things would have changed or maybe she wouldn't have as big of a problem with it. But she waited until five months into this to speak up. Oh my God, it's Candy Thunder. Okay, so about this story, what are your thoughts here? Why would she care? Uh, Did he do the right thing? Did he screw up? She's, what happened? I feel like she's she's a major asshole. And when you start micromanaging your partner, your spouse, um, it's never going to end well for either of you because you're just setting him up to fail. Like you're you're setting your expectations so high that he can't achieve them. So. He didn't achieve first because he didn't clean the dust off the top of the fridge. And I'm going to tell you right now, the dust doesn't matter. Your marriage does. Like, you can get the dust when you get the dust. I don't know. I feel like she just wants something to bitch about. So Mm. he tried to fix the problem by having someone else do it, which is fine. Like, if you can afford that, do it. I I guarantee you it's going to make your life easier. But now she's bitching about the fact that he has free time and he's paying someone else to do it. I think she just wants to bitch about things. And that sucks because that's going to that's going to ruin a relationship. So do you think this all stems from the initial agreement that they would split the chores 50 50? Is that where things went sideways? I mean, if they're splitting, if they don't have combined finances, then they're still splitting it. There's I mean, he's just doing it a different way. So maybe she should hire someone. Maybe they should both be together and hire this person and to do everything. And then they don't have to bitch about it. Putting myself in his shoes right now, if if I was if our situation was like this, which it never would be, but. No, but if it not. were, what's the solution? How do you, how do you, how do you win? How do you not just win, but I think, what is it in a good compromise? No one walks away happy, happy, right? Happy. Crappy. What is a, a way to step forward here? That is an olive branch at least. And maybe that's if he talks to her and says, look, I, I understand, you know, I don't know if you want to have control of all these things. And, and if that's the case, if you would like to do my part, I'm perfectly willing to pay you to do that the way I'm paying this person. Or uh, if you want to go in with me on this and pitch in, it doesn't have to be 50-50, but we can have this person do your side of the chore things too. Right. What What is most likely to be that olive branch that gets her to actually move the ball down for you? I mean, I guess 
can I pay my 50% so that she can do my chores too? Like yeah. that's, that's how I would feel about it. So I don't, I can't imagine the mindset where it's like, I mean, we all have our things. Like mine is the dishwasher. Like it, I get really upset when it's like loaded incorrectly, but that's my thing. That's did on you, me. Did you that's, reload it after I loaded it last night? No, I did not. But it's like my, my mom, it was like a big deal to my mom. So it was like, that's how we had to, when we grew up, that's how I learned to load the dishwasher. But if I want it done that way, I have to do it that way because that's the way that I do it. He's doing it. It's getting done. If I have a problem with it, that's my problem, not his problem. And I think that's a big thing to learn in marriage is like if laundry is a big deal for him, he basically does all of the laundry at our house. And by all of, I mean, the teenagers do their own laundry, but those are, those are our things, like our personal things that we want done a certain way. So we do them ourselves because we know how we want it done. Yeah. Like we don't, I don't put my expectation for loading the dishwasher correctly on you because I can't expect you to live up to what I, how I want it done. Right. And you can't expect me to do the laundry the way that you want it done. Like it's, you have to do, like if you want something done a certain way, you should do it yourself. So personal standards are personal standards. And when Correct. you project those onto another person without them agreeing to it, you're an asshole. I, I think so. I mean, I think. It makes sense. I think, and that's something that I feel like works in our marriage. Like instead of making, or having these expectations that I don't think you can live up to and then faulting you for not living up to these expectations. I feel like that just sets us up for failure. Sure. And we, we split stuff. And like, if I feel like there's something that he's doing that he could do differently, then I would probably tell him and he would do the same, but he doesn't expect me to adopt that method of doing things. And you don't expect me to yeah. adopt your methods of doing things. I did it my way. <laughs> uh, so I think an approach that I've learned from experience here is that Don't if they're fly. get out of here, fly. <laughs> I think a method that I learned after after some self reflection was that um, piles are like an anxiety trigger and Candy Thunder has a lot of stuff just a lot of stuff. And rather than do the easy thing, and the easy thing is to just get frustrated about it and do nothing about it, right? To just be frustrated. After a while, uh, I, I finally figured out that that my frustration wasn't accomplishing anything. What I could do was put that energy into developing some kind of system that, that made it easier for her to organize the stuff mm -hmm. that she has. And that was the solution, right? That, that like we did a closet mm -hmm. makeover and, and added like new spaces to, to put more stuff. We're going through and organizing things room by room and just trying to make sure we're, we're being efficient about how we organize things. And that is a solution. That is something that actually is good for the family because it gets us, yeah, and lets I'm, us put and stuff in places. It's helping me, I feel like become better at managing my stuff. Right. I'm a clutter bug. I always have been. I do feel like it helps me and you didn't do it in a way that makes me feel bad about the person that I am. You're like, you have this, here's a better way. Do you want to do this? Yeah. And we did it and my closet has been clean. Yeah. For like almost a, like what, over a year or almost a year, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's been, it's been, been a, a long time. So, and we've said this before, sometimes I'm pulling 90%. This week, I'm gonna be pulling a lot more because of this 24 hour stream. Um, but if there's a different week, maybe he's pulling 90% and he's doing 90% of the housework and the Navy work and the teenager work. Like it, it shifts and we don't hold that against each other because we're not contributing 50%. Now, if that, if that imbalance went on for too long, we would, it would probably cause issues, but we don't mind that balance shifting no. when you need more work, you need more help or I need more help. But that's because we're a team. They're not. No, they're not a team at all. If, if if this was a team, he would be like, let me hire this person and we can hire someone to do all the chores and let's put yeah. our effort into bettering the house in this way or whatever. Let's put our effort here and have this person do the chores. They both have me mentality. Yeah. And that's, they're just dating. They're not married, right? Maybe that's something you learn as you go, but... But I think even dating relationship-wise oh, before they were we married. got married. No, they're just dating. It's his girlfriend. Okay. Uh, okay. And that's, yeah. They're, I mean, it could be just young <laughs> in the relationship, so they're figuring this stuff out mm -hmm. as they go. But but there is a tipping point where you have to look at all this and say, how much time and energy have we wasted on this petty bullshit that is just tit for tat? Right. If it was a team approach and that's what you end up getting to at some point, then it is a what what's for the good of the realm. These these are fires you have to walk through, and maybe this is a fire they're walking through right now to learn about teamwork approach, right? Because it's it, they in a relationship, it's going to make it hard to survive with the mentality they have right now. Right. Now, yeah. if they were just roommates, that's a different issue. But if they want to be together and they're interested in spending the rest of their lives together, they've got to start looking at this and saying us instead of me versus you. 